All right, what's going on YouTube? Menace FX Productions. Um, I got a little bit of time, so I'm gonna do a couple tutorials today, just on a few different ways to sample. This first one right here, I'm gonna use. Um, I'm gonna use the the FL slicer. Show you how to do it. I'm gonna pull it from the drop down menu and stuff, and kind of um, load it up so you can see with already having it. I'm gonna show you how to open up Edison if you don't know, and then I'm gonna do one just using the basic sampler, just cutting and pasting. So. All right. Well, this is the first one. Um, now, if you have a MIDI controller, you know that's cool to work with it. If not, you can hit the keys on your keyboard, on your like on your laptop keyboard or computer keyboard, and you can trigger these. But um, I'm gonna be using my MPD 24, and uh, I, I created a, a section on my MPD like um, how they have the default pads and stuff. I made my own assigned pads to it so it would link up right. But um, in order to get to your your FL slicer. Uh, the top left corner, you kind of really can't see it, but um, click on Channels. It's right next to Edit, and then go to Add One, and then scroll down. Look for your your FL slicer or Fruity slicer. Click on that, and bam, there you go. You have it right here. So that basically just adds another channel to to your pattern, and um, you know you can mess with it in there. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up Edison real quick. So um, on the next tutorial, I'm not gonna pull out each one like that. It, I'm gonna already have it loaded up, but um, I, I usually just leave it on my master channel. I don't care because it's just gonna it's just gonna pull up so you can chop samples. Um, so you, you go ahead and click on here, and then you go to your first column, select, then you go up top to Edison, click on that, bam, you got Edison. So now right here, you know you can do all your slices and stuff in here. Now right here is going to be your load. Load uh let's see load sample. I think uh yeah, I already have it right here, so I'm just going to kind of pull up the file. Now if if you have a whole song that you're loading up, it might take a little while, might not. So here's the song. I'm just going to use the same thing I did on the last tutorial and I'm going to do the same thing on the next one just cuz it's easy, so I can kind of show you real quick. Um, you know, to zoom in, if you have a mouse, you can use the scroll on your clicker, a laptop, same thing. Um, doesn't really matter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag from here. Bam! Take the same cut I did in the last one. You know, you always want to kind of check and make sure you got things pretty even. Yeah, I'll just do it right there. Okay. Now that you have that, you know you can region it out. Hold Alt M. It'll pop up. Type in whatever you want. Let's put cut one. Bam. So now you have the slicer. Now what you can do on a slicer, if you already have a small sample cut, you can click right here, load sample, and then you can click on anything you want. But since you know I'm doing my cut right here, so I don't have to save it, you know, and waste any memory or whatnot, you can grab it right here with this little arrow, drag it, and drop. There's your sample. You already have it loaded in. Now, if, if you want to play it, let me see. Uh, you can hit right here. So there you go. Or you can hit on your pad. Either way. Um, now, I have my tempo. I'm going to drop it down to 92. Um, if you want to do this, you can kind of match it. I'll put four. Ninety-two. But it doesn't matter because I'm doing four beat pattern or whatnot. I'm just gonna cut that out. All right. Now you can do for setting your slicing right here. You click on here. And you can do one fourth, one sixteenth. You can slice to the beat. You can do all that. Uh, I'll just click slice to the beat, so you can kind of hear. So it's kind of choppy. Uh, I don't really like that. Let's see, one fourth a little too much. I, I I don't use the slicer too much. Hmm. 
click on no slice and you can actually grab these arrows bam I like that cut actually right there so what I'll probably do I'll do a 8, eight, eight beat pattern or 8 measures trying to hurry up with this tutorial so it's not too long but then you have it you know on your controller you gotta hold the pad or you know the key now let me set mine to full velocity so there you go um, let me see yeah. Probably, I'm gonna record something real quick I'm just gonna do four it's quicker metronome uh, that's off so I gotta hold the mic let me set this down near the speakers as you can see that is way off um, so I don't really like using this too much Just gonna drag it over and then whenever I use these I kinda actually fill it in and just do do my own thing. So, I mean, you know, it's pretty neat. It's pretty useful. You know, you, there's a lot of different ways to sample. This is just one of them. Uh, I'm going to kind of fill in just like a little a little, little beat right now. Mm. Kind of see what we can get from this. So I mean, you know, sound sounds kind of jam. That's not bad. But like, I didn't even really even use my MPD for that. So I I rather use the FPC when I do my MPD. Um, keyboards are real nice though with this. You know, it it feels a little bit better hit, hit using the keyboard keys for this. Um, I do have a M Audio Axiom 49 key that I use, and that's on my other computer. And um, you know, I I do like using that. But uh, if you're using an MPD or anything like that, you, you want to kind of stick to the to the FPC because you know you can get it like that feel for like a virtual kind of like a virtual MPC because you can have it cut off, you know. Which on this you have to hold the key down as long as you want. So I mean, just playing with it, you know, figuring it out, you you get the feel for it. Um, once again, Menace Effects Productions. Got any questions? Hit me up. I'll answer them for you. If I don't know it, I'll try to find the answer. Um, yeah, so check out the video. Tell me if you liked it or not. You know, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, I'm gonna kind of let y'all jam out for a few seconds on this um, crappy little <laughs> little four beat. Um, peace.